The first COVID vaccines have been administered in the UK, but reportedly, you know whose administration passed on the chance to buy more doses from Pfizer, which could have, you know, leave us months away from any kind of effective rollout. Now he says he'll issue an executive order demanding that America is first in line for the vaccines. But, you know, you can't do that. Even his own advisor doesn't want to touch that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Take a look. Can you explain this executive order the president is going to be putting out? Frankly, I don't know. And frankly, I'm staying out of this, so I can't comment. I, you I, don't I know? I don't know. But you're yes. the chief science advisor for Operation Warp Speed. Our work is, is, you know, rolling. We have plans. We feel that we can deliver the vaccines as needed. So I, I don't know exactly what, what this order is about. He... He doesn't know. He doesn't know what the man is talking about. He can't figure <laughs> out what's going on. I mean, he just, he's like, I don't know. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just, I'm on warp speed, babe. That's what I do. Now, talk to me about that. That's what I handle. About this other stuff, I, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I mean, it, now it's just getting to be ridiculously funny when these things happen because it's like no one knows what's going on. I mean, Again, I ask this question every day. Am I crazy, Sonny, or is, is this just <laughs> unprecedented where you have people saying, I don't know, shoot. It's, it just goes to show great. you the chaos that remains the Trump administration, right? I mean, I think it's President Trump's attempt to spin the fact that he once again in his administration screwed up the pandemic and screwed up the vaccine. Now we know that apparently the U.S. has ordered just enough of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for 50 million people. But that's it. And it's a two-dose vaccine, which means uh, it's about 15% of America's population. And we also know that Pfizer didn't take American money to develop this, right? They developed it on their own. Right. They weren't really part of Operation Warp Speed, like Ivanka Trump tweeted out. And so this right. order, I guess, that President Trump is signing, I mean, it's just kind of much ado about nothing. I think it's kind of, let me, let me yeah. CYA myself so that I don't look as crazy yeah. as I am because it won't have any right. legal effect. I mean, my understanding of the order, and Whoopi, maybe I'm wrong, it's so that U.S. efforts to assist other countries in vaccinating their populations take on a lower priority than U.S. inoculations. But, like, well, I, I don't think, know. I think what, this what does that matter? There's like not enough can, to vaccinate can... the U.S. He, do, he feels he can demand, because he, he's made an executive order, that he can demand people change their <laughs> legal <laughs> obligations. They made legal, legal obligations with other people that don't have anything to mm -hmm. do. They're a private company. The, the government can't demand that yep. they do Americans first. It's ridiculous. What do you think of this, Sarah? Is it, it, it's, it, is it just getting crazier and crazier? Well, it's still getting crazy and crazier. We have a little bit left of 2020, so there's time. But um, I had a different take on this va vaccine because when uh, I read back into it, that 100 million doses was what they also uh, purchased with Moderna and Johnson & Johnson. It was kind of like their standard order because they were trying to spread out the money, not knowing who would come up with it first or have the best vaccine. So I kind of took it more as it mm -hmm. only makes sense that it was short-sighted looking back in hindsight that they didn't have it because... Uh, um, they were approached again by Pfizer a few times, and one of the senior officials said, anyone who wanted to sell us without an FDA approval, hundreds of millions of doses back in July and August was just not going to get the government's money. And so I kind of see that I now looking back, I wish they had purchased more, but that was kind of their standard order. Mm -hmm. I'm also grateful because that FDA approval should come through this week, which will be great. But when we're seeing Britain have their first vaccinations, I'd rather be on this side of it because... The FDA equivalent, British is, uh, the, the British equivalent to the FDA, they have a different vetting mm -hmm, process, mm -hmm. and they take some of the information from the pharmaceutical companies themselves, which to, to me is a bit of a conflict mm -hmm. of interest. So I'd rather have the FDA vet properly and make sure we get this right rather than get it first. What do you think, Joy? Well, the, I, my understanding, Sarah, is that Pfizer basically said to the government, uh, we won't sell this to you or take a dime from from you until it's proven to to be safe and effective. So they had nothing to lose by putting by 
uh, saying, yes, we're, we're buying Pfizer. You understand? They had nothing to lose. Well, when Pfizer okay. um, sorry, when Pfizer pr approached them again, they didn't have the vaccine in hand. So I think that it was one of those no, things where they were guessing where to, to do it. Right. Yeah, but they could have just said yes. It's but, just, it's just he just decided no. Uh, you know, uh, they said don't worry about it. You know, this is like a guarantee. Otherwise, don't, don't not a dime comes out of you. It's only his own stupidity, not not because he was hedging his bets. I don't buy that. As far as he, him wanting credit, yeah, well, that this is what I'm hearing. He wants credit for all this now. Okay. First of well, all, this is interesting you know what? because a lot of it, what. Go ahead. I was just going to say it's interesting because he he wants credit for hedging his bets. Now, he said that he was going to make sure <laughs> this got done. He thought this would be done, uh, you know, a little bit sooner, but around this time frame. But he didn't actually believe that, or he would have put the money as a down payment. You know, he would have done something mm -hmm. yeah. that would have allowed them to say, listen, we'll, we'll make the extra. You know, we'll, we're going to have to make sure that whatever you make is is on point and all of that stuff but he didn't do that which is kind of crazy and now before we do anything else we have a legal note sunny read your <laughs> legal note please yes thank you the trump administration has denied reports of turning down an offer denied. to doses of the pfizer coronavirus vaccine they said you know can i just didn't say happen. can i just but say they always say that this, didn't this whole this whole, this whole pandemic, pandemonium pandemic that we're in, we're in a pandemic pandemonium, is largely yeah. his fault. Right, right. He's the one who said, let's have these yeah. rallies, don't wear your mask. He puts Atlas, that quack, mm -hmm. and he puts they Fauci in the back of the bus and Fauci masks. in the front. Still having, he's still having, yeah. he knew in January because he told it to Woodward in that January. this was a dangerous yes. vaccine. And then he public January, yeah. then went out there and publicly said, it's going to disappear. This is the Trump pandemic, okay? Let's call it that. Mm -hmm. Maybe the it's Trump a class COVID action suit. Maybe it's a class action suit for all the folks he gets who feel no credit that for their anything. loved ones passed for 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 no good reason when he could we could have been in front of this in January